when it comes to seeking sister wife, why do you think that some of the families are doing so, so poorly and others seem to be doing okay, adding a wife to the family? That's what I want to talk about today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie. I am the She in Reality TV. And today I want to talk about Seeking Sister Wife. I want to talk about why it might be that some families seem to be doing well with the whole sister wife thing and others are just a hot ass mess when it comes to adding another woman to uh, the familial mix. This was in my head this morning. And I feel like the ones who um, the families for which the husband had to convince the wife that a sister wife would be a good thing for her too, they're not doing so hot. So either uh, they're having issues with the wife having jealousy, with the first wife being jealous like the Maryfields, or they're picking women because, like, like with the Clarks, they're choosing women who are just too young, um, like Kayla, like, come on dude, stay away from the 20 year olds. Like she, what was she, 22? Come on. There, that family is, or he is picking women that he knows or has known from be before and is already attracted to, right? There, in the next episode, we get to um, actually watch them go on a date with a new prospect who is, again, in her 20s. Like, dude, you know what? Come on. Ew stop and we know what's going on with the snowdens it's just uh like i said a hot ass mess um then there's the joneses sidian and oh god i'm sorry i can't remember his wife's name he and his wife agreed that a second wife would be you know good for the family and six months after they took a second wife the first wife left decided it wasn't for her and she left um, so when, after the first wife left, the second wife left to see if the first wife would come back because she wanted them to work on the relationship and see, you know, if maybe she was the problem. And as it turns out, she probably wasn't the problem after all because the first wife decided that she still didn't want to stay. So the second wife came back. So now she's the first wife and she and Sidian are looking for a second wife. But those two can't, they don't seem to even be able to get anyone to come on a test drive with them. They've been ghosted. They've been dumped and uh, COVID has just set in, like when, they, when they're filming now, these current episodes, COVID is just like, everything's just going on lockdown for COVID. So yeah, I don't know, they're, they're not having a good time with it. I mean, they're, they were approaching people like in bars and, <laughs> and online, and they don't seem to be having any luck. But like I said, they don't appear to be doing it for religious reasons. Same with the Merrifields. They are not doing it for religious reasons, and God knows the Clarks are not doing it for religious reasons. Um, now, the Winders, or the Winders, or however you pronounce their name, they are a different story. They have Colton and his two wives seem to be getting along just fine. In fact, they're bringing on, uh, or they're test driving, uh, sorry, I, I know that sounds crass, but they're test driving a third wife, potential wife, and so she comes to visit and when it's time for Colton, like the, the other wives are suggesting that Colton go on a date with this potential third wife, Colton actually says that it's not right for him to be alone with her. Not like these other idiots who are jumping all over these women and having sex with them before they've even decided whether or not they want them in the family. This one is actually doing it because he believes that that's what their religion calls for. And I'm cool with that. I'm like, I don't care. Consenting adults, blah, 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 all that other kind of shit. But the other ones are all puzzled as to why, you know, these women don't want to stay and whatever. But it's like, dude, it's because you're essentially using them. And, you know, maybe to some degree they're using you too. To what degree, I have no idea. But yeah, when it appears that all you're looking for is a housekeeper and a babysitter, of course they're not gonna stay, right? 
you want to knock up a 20 year old and bring her into your family because what you because you want to knock up a 20 year old and tie her to your house so that she can take care of your kids and your and your household and it's no it's not gonna work so yeah I feel like it is about the intention not so much about the fact that you know there's another woman in the house it's about the in it's the intention that either makes it work or not it either goes up in flames or they stay and you know there's a whole, not a whole lot to work out I mean different personalities are different personalities and you know there's some work to be done with getting along but yeah I feel like in large part whether or not it works out has a lot to do with the intention I know you've got some thoughts on this let me know in the comments that's all I've got for Seeking Sister Wife and Plural Marriages today. My name is Debbie. This is Shality TV. I will see you next time. Peace.